then we go to the next speaker. And the next speaker is Leonid Yatsenko, who is working at the Institute of Physics. Uh, please. Okay. Good evening. Can I try to Yeah, we see the PowerPoint. Can you see? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, as uh, thank you for the presentation, I am uh, from uh, Institute of Physics of the National Academy of Science, and according to the basic idea of our workshop, uh, I will speak about. Uh, some recent quantum optical uh, research uh, in uh, the Department of Coherent and Quantum Optics of the Institute of Physics, which uh, uh, I head of this uh, in, uh, not only <laughs> uh, department, but uh, first of all, I want to say some words about Institute of Physics, uh, where I was 10 years uh, director of this institute. Uh, this institute uh, is one of the oldest physical uh, institutes in uh, Ukraine. Uh, we, uh, its uh, 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 institute was established more than uh, 90 years ago. And uh, uh, in the uh, last uh, uh, in recent years, uh, among uh, uh, with many traditional uh, areas of research, uh, uh, there are also uh, works in the field of quantum technologies in our institute. Uh, first of all, of course, uh, it's uh, uh, research uh, from the uh, Department of Theoretical Physics. Uh, it's Professor Chumak, Andrei Semenov, uh, which uh, only recently moved to the Bogolubov Institute from our institute. And uh, many uh, other young researchers from the, this department. It's uh, today you. Uh, uh, see, uh, so the talk uh, from uh, Anatoly Nigrico, who spoke about quantum metrology, and I also will speak uh, uh, about some uh, works in uh, our department. So, but uh, I would uh, like to spend a couple of minutes uh, in the historical uh, about uh, one historical fact concerning our institute, which is not uh, very well known. Uh, so uh, you all uh, know that uh, in the basis of uh, 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 quantum technologies, which we are working uh, uh, it's uh, the famous paper of Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen. Can quantum mechanical description of physical reality be considered complete? And uh, of course, you know uh, author Einstein, but not so known. Uh, the author is Nathan uh, Rosen. Uh, Nathan Rosen uh, was uh, Einstein assistant uh, in the Institute of Advanced Study in Princeton in uh, these years, and uh, in that time he has uh, wrote this paper. But in 1936, at the personal request of Einstein, in his correspondence with Molotov, the chairman of the Council of People's Commissar of the USSR, Nathan Rosen came to Kiev in the Soviet Union. 
and he was a head of department of theoretical physics in the Institute of Physics of Academy of Science of the Ukrainian SSR two years. Uh, this time, uh, during this time, he wrote three papers on gravity theory and quantum physics in the uh, Ukrainian physical journals in that time, uh, uh, it's Ukrainian physical news in Ukrainian language. And uh, one uh, very interesting uh, paper was published uh, with affiliation to the Physics Institute, Academy of Science, Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. Uh, so, uh, our institute has some connection to the foundation of uh, the quantum technologies, but not only uh, in the last uh, uh, time, but in, in the, as I said already, in the recent time, we also work in uh, this direction. However, to be honest, uh, in uh, our institute uh, and uh, in uh, our department of coherent uh, and quantum optics, the main part is uh, for work. we work more with coherent uh, optics and uh, with, uh, you see here some direction of our works. But nevertheless, I will uh, stop for on uh, some uh, do you see uh, well? Uh, yes, the, everything is perfect. Uh, okay, uh, so the first uh, physical idea which I want to, which was connected uh, in some sense with uh, quantum uh, optics, quantum uh, storing of quantum maybe information. It was idea to store the coherence uh, which is created uh, on the in some qubit between state one and two uh, to the population of the ground state uh, levels. You know that uh, Mm, coherence is very fragile, and uh, the time of life of this coherence is determined by the fluctuation of the uh, energy states, uh, and uh, so it's much more shorter than uh, time of life of uh, population in these levels. And if we have three levels uh, in the ground state, so very long lived, hours or maybe even days. Uh, then uh, the uh, idea was that using some uh, coherent interaction, some uh, short pulses, we can uh, create some population. Uh, we have three levels, so it's enough population uh, to know population of this level to, and we will know full information about coherence. And uh, in this paper, we suggested uh, some uh, this idea, some special uh, sequences of the pulses. But we assume that uh, we have uh, three levels and we cut all three levels, which was in uh, experiment not so easy to uh, do. And uh, uh, in the um, couple of years later, uh, in the lab of uh, Professor Thomas Haltman in Darmstadt and together with uh, my old, very old uh, co-author and uh, friend Nikolai Vitano from Sofia and uh, with his student. Uh, uh, it was idea of uh, Nikolai that we can use only two uh, transition and it's also we can realize this uh, idea and it was done and uh, the main uh, point is here on this uh, where we have storage duration of the creative coherence in uh, we work with uh, uh, crystals with uh, solid states uh, where in uh, the uh, ground state of the ions of uh, 
Professor Dino, we can uh, create these uh, long-lived uh, labels, and you see that uh, uh, it's more than uh, hours of the uh, lifetime, and we can read, uh, store this uh, coherence, and then read again. And uh, so it's very uh, interesting idea, which uh, have to, I think, be more popular than uh, it's uh, now. And uh, another uh, work with uh, also with uh, Torsten Peters, he is also assistant professor in the group in uh, Darmstadt University, worked with Thomas Kaufman. Uh, the uh, idea is used. Uh, uh, fibers with uh, holes uh, and uh, with photonic uh, crystal uh, to concentrate atoms, uh, to load uh, atoms, cold atoms inside the fiber, and as a result, in drastically increase uh, nonlinearity and long uh, interaction time with these uh, atoms, which are. Uh, uh, Loaded in uh, such uh, uh, fibers. This is uh, the scheme how we do this uh, with uh, loading from uh, magnetic optical traps to the fiber. And uh, uh, as a result uh, of this, we create some. Uh, uh, medium for uh, storing uh, and uh, light and for uh, creating on quantum uh, sources of light. Uh, and uh, what the main uh, result is that in this system, you can uh, create optical density, which is critical parameter for the uh, all uh, 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 schemes of storing light and the generation of synthotons um, uh, larger than 1,000. It's a uh, record uh, value. Okay, and uh, the last, uh, what I want to, the very recent uh, results, we uh, uh, did again uh, with uh, this team, uh, but not only with this team, with Taiwan uh, uh, colleagues and uh, with uh, my PhD student, Sergei Strizhenko, uh, some uh, source of uh, uh, biphotons. Uh, so its uh, idea is uh, using uh, of uh, spontaneous four-way mixing in uh, rubidium in resonant system. Uh, so we have, uh, uh, we prepare rubidium atoms in the state of the uh, F equal one of the hyperfine structure of the ground state. And uh, then, uh, with some non-resonant, uh, uh, we uh, detuned uh, field uh, pump, uh, and uh, we uh, generate spontaneous photon, Stokes photon, and then there is strong field and resonant field uh, which uh, creates an EIT on this transition, and uh, as a result. Uh, uh, this field is scattering on the creative coherence between the state, and uh, uh, we emit uh, anti stops photon. So there is some pair of two photons which are correlated. This is so called biphoton. And uh, so we uh, did uh, a lot of work with theoretical uh, description of this. Uh, we made some uh, calculation uh, for all uh, magnetic sublevels 
here is some experimental setup. And uh, finally, we have uh, uh, the uh, main uh, our results here. So uh, this is first non-classic photon phase sort based uh, on spontaneous uh, wave mixing. Okay, so uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, uh, Leonid. We have uh, actually the question. Uh, we have a question in chat from from Nikolai Vitanov. Uh, the question is: This the same rosin from the rosin Zener model? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> and the, there is a link to the Fizrev letter, the Fizrev Fiz, of uh, 1932. Maybe, but uh, I'm not sure. Ah, okay, really? I, I, I thought that it's, uh, it's me, I don't know, but <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, the talk is uh, waiting for, <laughs> open for questions. Is there any questions or people are tired already? I think people are tired. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if uh, no more question, then thank you. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, let's thank speaker. Thank you, and uh, I stop the recording.